In Judge Alito, Justice's Alito draft opinion striking down abortion rights, he references the landmark Supreme Court ruling allowing same-sex marriage. And that has many in the LGBTQ community concerned that marriage equality may be the next domino to fall. Crown Force Dan Kerman reports. The idea that our happily ever after might be taken away is just... It breaks my heart. Stuart Gaffney and John Lewis have been together for more than 35 years. They were first married during San Francisco's so-called 2004 Winter of Love, only to have that struck down. They were then legally married in June 2008. They've been through the battle over Prop 8 and then the Supreme Court's 2015 ruling legalizing same-sex marriage. Now, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito's leaked draft opinion striking down abortion rights also references that 2015 ruling, which raises married. the question, <laughs> is gay marriage the next to fall? Certainly this casts doubt uh, and the reasoning uh, and makes us uh, you know, concerned about uh, what the future is uh, for these very, very important landmarks that upheld the basic uh, freedom to marry and our common humanity under the Constitution for LGBT people. If this draft decision does become a final decision, then we have to look at all of the cases that depend on the right to privacy. Constitutional law professor Jessica Levinson says, while part of Alito's opinion separates abortion from other issues, there's still ample reason to question whether this court will continue to protect the rights of same-sex couples to marry. There's really no way to view, I think, Justice Alito's overall rationale here as anything other than calling into question whether or not unenumerated, meaning unlisted rights, things that are not specifically written down in the Constitution, whether or not those rights will still be protected by this Supreme Court. One of those rights is same-sex marriage. We got to see wedding bells ring out in all 50 states after the U.S. Supreme Court made marriage equality the law of the land in 2015. Who would want to take away all those I do's? For Gaffney and Lewis, this is just their latest call to action, something they've gotten used to. We all need to stand up together and make our voices heard because that's, that's the way we're going to protect our rights. In San Francisco, 